Hey guys, welcome back to Carnal Dish. So one of my favorite things to eat is a cheeseburger. One of my other favorite things to eat is an egg roll. So when you combine the two, you kind of get like this magical contraption here that I'm about to show you how to make. It's delicious, it's easy, and most importantly, it's seasoned, okay? No bland meat over here. If you wanna see how I did it, keep watching. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is brown some bacon. I don't have to tell you how to do that. You already know how to do that. Just brown some bacon as much as you want. This is three slices of thick cut bacon. I got it crispy and then I put it in a bowl and set it to the side. That left me with about two tablespoons of delicious bacon fat. And you guessed it, I'm sauteing my onions in that bacon fat. Gonna season those onions with some kosher salt, some black pepper, some crushed red pepper flakes. Stir it around, get all the fond from the bottom, up from the skillet, into the onions. It's just gonna flavor everything, okay? Now I'm adding the ground beef. Now I really do not know how much ground beef this is because I got like one of those family packs and I just put some in a bowl. I was like, I'm gonna figure this out later. Cook everything down, add some onion powder and a good amount of it. We want this to be seasoned. There's too many unseasoned versions of this recipe floating around the internet. We have to save it. So we've got some onion powder, garlic powder, and that is smoked paprika. Break everything up, get the meat all cooked, get it brown. I like to add the spices as the meat is rendering down though because it really just soaks into the meat a lot better. So that was some dry parsley and a good amount of just regular chili powder. Use what you have. You can use cayenne if you don't have chili powder. You just want to make it a little bit spicy. So anyway, I'm cooking this down. All of that fat is going to render out and it's going to be kind of liquidy at first, but as you cook it, that fat will actually be way less than you thought and the liquid will evaporate. Oh, I just poured beer in there because why not? So pour just a little bit of beer. You don't have to, if you don't have any beer, um, don't worry about it. I only buy beer for cooking, so there's that. Added some more kosher salt to season it because you have to season every step. And just keep cooking it down, give it a taste. Is it good? Keep cooking, add your bacon back. At this point, I have the heat turned off. So I'm adding that crispy bacon back into the meat mixture. And you wanna put this into a bowl and just kinda let it hang out and cool down for about maybe 20 minutes and then put it in the refrigerator so it can chill down for real, for real. So I added some Worcestershire sauce some Japanese mayo, some ketchup, and some spicy brown mustard. Also chopped up some pickles and threw that in there as well. Toss everything, taste it. Mine needed a little bit more of all three. See, that's just, that's just how you cook. You gotta taste as you go. Stir that around, give it another taste. I added a chipotle just one and some of the adobo sauce. And that's when things went from like great to amazing. So I'm adding in some scallions just because I had it and I didn't want it to go bad. If you don't have scallions, you don't have to put it in there. Now the mixture is cool enough for us to toss in some lovely cheddar cheese. Now you're gonna put this on your wonton wrappers. I'm using like these wonton slash spring roll wrappers. They're not the really small ones and they're not that doughy kind, but I mean, honestly use what you have. So put like a small mound in the middle and top it with some American cheese, seal it, close it up. It looks like a little package. It's so cute. I love it. I made like 20 of these. If I'm not mistaken, I probably made more than that. I won't tell you how many I ate though. So yeah, I'm just showing you again how you can fold it. And it's really easy. It's really like no wrong way to do it. You just wanna make sure 
that the sides are sealed properly so that when you fry these, nothing pops out. You know, you don't want it to burst open. But these are like the really good thin wonton wrappers because they're like bubbly and crackly when they fry, but they're not greasy. You don't feel like you're biting into a grease bomb. Keep rolling up your cheeseburger, spring roll, egg roll situations, and we're gonna make a dipping sauce. This is a little bit of mayo, some chives from my garden, some chili sauce. You could use ketchup. Um, I got some spicy brown mustard in there, and this is my favorite hot sauce on earth. It's The Truth by Khalees, her bounty in full line. It is bomb. She cannot keep it in stock. Anyway, added some Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce garlic powder, black pepper, and now I'm adding some uh, Himalayan sea salt. So you're going to stir that around, obviously, and taste it. Make sure that you like it. Mine was really good, but it needed just a touch of sweetness to kind of balance out that heat from the habanero. So I added about a teaspoon of honey, and whew, this stuff is so bomb. I should bottle it and sell it. It's just so good. It's so good. I'm going to um, put this little garnish here on the egg rolls as they come out of the fryer. It was just some <laughs> bagel seasoning and some flaky kosher salt. So I'm frying these in 350 degree oil and you just want to do this for about maybe three to four minutes. Um, it might not take that long depending on how hot your oil is. Just fry those until they look like that. They're nice and golden brown. And you want to hit them with that salty bagel seasoning as soon as they come out. I like that seasoning because honestly, like, it has everything that a lot of people put on a um, hamburger bun in the first place. The salt, the sesame seeds, the poppy seeds, and the garlic and onion. They are so delicious. I can't even, I can't even. You just, you're just going to have to go make them. But if I were you... Okay, I would serve these with some peppery arugula. I'm trying to tell you guys, when you combine that crispy bite of that well-seasoned beef mixture with the pepperiness and the freshness of the arugula, it's special. Get the recipe in the description box below. And that's it, and now you get to watch me eat it. <laughs> Bye. That is so good. I like a little arugula with mine. I'm just gonna stuff it up in there. All that bacon. Mm. Oh my God. The arugula! It's so perfect. Are you kidding me? Mm -mm. Y'all playing if y'all don't go ahead and make these, bitch. Mm -hmm. That's so good. Oh my God, that's so good. It's literally everything I like about a burger and an egg roll. Mm -hmm. mm. Good God. Look at that. Look at that. Mm, so good.